Hello, my friends, and it's time for our calendar. So remember, when we do our letters for the month of April, we're not going to say the letter. We're going to do the letter sound. So let's go ahead and start. Ah, ah, ah. P, p, p. R. E, e, e. L, l. Good job, my friends. That is our word, April. Now let's look at the April calendar because there's different things on here. So if you noticed, I added a whole bunch of pictures toward the end of April. And it's because we're going to be starting our ABC countdown. Now, families, I'm going to be posting... Um, our document for ABC Countdown, but all it is is these last 26 days of school, we're gonna go through the whole alphabet, and for every letter of the alphabet, we're gonna do something associated with that letter. So starting Thursday, it's gonna be Art Day. So this is something that you don't have to do, only if you would like to. But Thursday, we'll start off with A, and it's going to be for Art Day, where we get to do some art activities, and we can show them by sending pictures. Friday, B for Bubble Day. Monday will be C for Chalk Day. Tuesday, D for Dance Day. Wednesday, E for Exercise Day. Thursday, F for Fruit Day. So again, I will be posting the document for our ABC Countdown on Dojo and on Google Classroom. But let's go ahead and start our calendar. We need to figure out what day it is. So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. Yes. We're already on number 21. <gasps> oh my goodness. And a two and a one make 21. Well, we need to figure out what needs to come next in our pattern. So say the pattern with me. Rabbit, rabbit, egg. 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 Rabbit, hmm. What do you think should come next in our pattern? That's right, another rabbit. So I need to add another rabbit here because our pattern for this month is rabbit, rabbit, egg. Way to go, my friends. Now we need to do our weather. So go ahead and sing the song with me. Oh, what is the weather, the weather, the weather? Oh, what is the weather, the weather today? All right, guys, so I want you to go look out your window, look outside, look up at the sky, and tell me, what do you see? <clears throat> when I look outside my window, I see kind of a cloudy day. I see lots of clouds. And I see that sun is trying to come out. So I see a little bit of sunshine poking through. So today, our weather is sunny and cloudy. There sure are lots of clouds, but that sun is trying to come out. So today's weather is sunny and cloudy. So that means I need to add another sunny and cloudy picture to our graph. Now let's try to subitize this real quick. How many cloudy days? Four, good. How many rainy days? Zero, good. How many sunny and cloudy days? This is a tough one. Five. How many snowy days? Zero. And how many sunny days? Five. Good job, my friends. Let's go ahead and do our rhyming. So I wanted you to think of words that rhymed with mud. So Esmeralda said, Mud, blood, flood, dud. Good job, Esmeralda. Tutu said, mud, bud, sud. Good job, friend. Jaden said, mud, dud, 
Blood, flood. Way to go, Jaden. And Sabi said, mud, bud, hud, cud, tud. Way to go, friends. That was a lot of rhyming words. All right. Well, today it's a new word. I want you guys to think of words that rhyme with milk. What are some words that rhyme with milk? I want you to think about it. Let your families know. And families, if you can write them in the comments, that will be great. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's read a word. Now remember, we always start at the left and we move to the right. So let's sound out these letters to make a word. Let's start with L. L-A-G. L-A-G. Log. Log. We just read the word log. Now a log is something that you might put in to make a fire, but it is a big branch from a tree, a log. Great job reading that word. Let's do our math stories. All right, so we need to look at our equation first. So the first number we're gonna start with is this number. What number is that? That's right, it's nine. So I need to put nine farm animals out in the farm. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's my nine farm animals, but now I need to take away how many? Three, that's right, I need to take away three. So let's take away three. One, two, three. Now how many do we have left? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six farm animals left. So I need to write my number six. I start at the top go down and curve around to make my number six. Way to go, friends. Now let's make a compound word. All right, hmm, let's add these two words together to make a brand new word. Lady, bug. Let's put them together. Lady, bug. Lady, bug. We just made a new word. And that word is ladybug. I have seen lots of ladybugs near my house. They have been crawling all over the grass. Way to go, friends. Now for our letter of the week. And what letter is it? It's S. And we know that S makes the S sound. So a lot of you guys have already thought of a lot of words that begin with the S sound. Now, you guys have thought of the word Sabi because Sabi starts with the letter S. So I'm going to make her little name tag here and we're going to write Sabi's name. S-A-B-I for Sabi. Good job. Now, another one that you guys thought of was the word sun. So I'm gonna make a sun right here, and then I'm gonna make the rays coming out for our sun. Good job, friends. Here's our word sun. Now, some of you also thought of the word star. That is another word that makes the s sound. So this is how I make my stars. I go across, down, up, down again and across. Here's my star and then I just fill it in. There we go. All right, now let's write the word star. Uh, that was a silly S. All right, here's my star. All right, now you guys also thought of the word <gasps> snake and snake makes the sound too. So I'm going to make a green snake. I think I'm going to put him up here. So I'm going to make his head first. 
And then his long, slithery body. Here's our snake. And then let me put in his eyes up in the front. And then his long tongue that sometimes we see sticking out. So here is our snake. Good job, friends. You've been thinking of so many words already that make the sound. All right, let's see what else. All right, so I have a friend that thought of her last name that makes the sound. Esmeralda said her last name, Sierro. So I'm going to make another name tag here. And I'm going to write Esmeralda's last name. S-I-L-L-E-R-O. Good job, Esmeralda. Oh my goodness, friends, you guys have already thought of a whole bunch of S words and you still have a lot more that you thought of too. But if you think of any new ones, write them in the comments and we'll put them and add them to our letter S. All right, my friends, I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye.